So the first thing I want to do though is I want to show you where inventory control is because when it comes to variances, skew, weight, and quantity on hand is kind of a big deal if you're going to go that route. So let's just jump down here and take a look at WooCommerce and we'll go to settings and in this particular site we'll go ahead and activate inventory control. So we'll go to products and then we'll go to inventory. We're going to go ahead and enable stock management and what this item here is, is when somebody puts an item in their shopping cart, how long do we want to hold it there? Because WooCommerce will actually take it out of inventory until they check out. So in this particular, um, in this particular default setting, we're going to leave it in for one hour or 60 minutes. We're going to go ahead and enable low stock notifications so we know when things are getting low and when things are out. This is where the notifications are going to go to. This is the low stock. This is the low stock threshold, and this is when it's out of stock. And then what are we going to do if it's out of stock? Are we going to hide the items from being from the catalog completely? Um, you can, or you're going to leave them in there. So we're going to go ahead and hit save changes. So now let's jump over here and look at one of the products that we created yesterday. We'll go look at the t-shirts and look at what the inventory looks like on those real quick. So here's our t-shirts. And here's our inventory tab. Now we can go ahead and turn on manage stock for this particular one. How many do we have? We'll say we have 50 and allow back orders or not and then the status whether it's in stock or not. We'll go ahead and hit update. The other thing that you may have noticed that when we were on the products tab, we now have a new column called in stock and it'll tell us how much quantity that we have in stock so that we can see from this screen as well if things are getting low. And that's also underneath your screen options, which we talked about earlier. If you want to see what's in stock or not in stock, you can change that up there. So now that we're managing inventory, the thing to remember is in the package deals, when inventory gets low for an individual item it's going to let you know so when somebody buys a package deal it's actually going to deduct the individual bundled items from your inventory so that's that's a pretty good deal